listen, this is just a little public service announcement to drink your cafecitos, but also stay hydrated. Gotta have your water on hand. I have a little bit of the liquid IV passion fruit powder in here. Y'all, so, so good. Mm. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I am bringing to you a video testing out some newer makeup launches, including the brand new Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. I have really been wanting to try and test this out, so I went over to Sephora, picked it up. I picked mine up in the shade eight, so I'll be using this in addition to some other newer launches that I've had sitting in my makeup collection. So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you do, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, and with that, grab your matcha tea water, whatever you drink. Today I have my little cafecito, but clearly I'm almost done with it. I'm feeling very powered up, so let's zoom in and let's get started. Before we begin today's video, can we just take a moment to appreciate the glow, honey, courtesy of Claro Que Si by Desi Skin and the Super Goop Glow Screen. Probably one of my favorite sunscreens right now in this current moment. Y'all need it, don't walk, run to the description box because I will have it listed down below. But with that being said, I do want to work on the eyes a little bit. I have some brow products actually, so not technically the eyes, the brows. I have this by Flower Beauty. This is called the Brow Vixen in the shade Soft Brown. It is, t oh. Goodbye. So the reason I'm saying oh is because if you look very closely, you can definitely see that yes, this is a brow marker, but it's not your typical brow pen. So not entirely sure how I'm going to feel about it. This is what it swatches like on the back of my hand. So very thick stroke. Will I be able to create fine hair like strokes with this? That is the question. We're gonna try it out, we're gonna see. You know what, I'm just gonna go all in and I'm going to just try to create the finest strokes in my brow. Don't know if the color is working. I'm gonna be real. It's a little orange. It's a little red actually, but do you see that? It's a little too warm for my liking, but we're just gonna continue on. Yeah, it's a no for me. It's a no. What's next? I mean, I really don't mean to be too harsh or anything. It just pulls way too red and warm for what I like on my brows. I'm gonna switch over to using the Skinny Micro Brow Pencil by Flower Beauty. This is actually very interesting and it is a brow product that I've really been wanting to try. So I'm gonna try to do the hair like strokes with this. It is really skinny, so. Oh, okay, it's doing something. Let me do over here since there's nothing on this brow. I'm just gonna leave my brows alone because neither of these products are working out. They are just way too warm for me personally. So these are gonna go in the no pile. Hate to say it, but not really working out. Let's move on and let's talk about eyeshadow. Now I did already prep my eyelids with this eyeshadow base by Alter Ego. I really love it and it's growing on me. It's becoming one of my favorite eyeshadow bases right now, but let's talk eyeshadow. I do have two eyeshadow palettes here by Revolution. I featured these in a previous dupes video. If you guys haven't seen that, I will have it listed up here in the cards, but these are very, very beautiful. This one is in the shade medium and then I have another one in the shade dark. So I am going to be going for a very pretty kind of like rosy tone look in today's video. I'm gonna start off with the palette in the shade medium Medium, and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. It's a really pretty mauve shade. I'm gonna work this in my crease and it's gonna be a transitional shade. I'm also gonna mix in a little bit of this too because that's really pretty as well. I'm just gonna go back and forth in big circular motions. The next shade I'm gonna take is also from the Mediums palette here. It is a little bit deeper. I wanna say this is shade three right here. I'm gonna take it on the same brush. Actually, no, I'm gonna to switch to an M433 by Morphe. And I'm gonna focus this right here in the outer part of the eye just to smoke it out a little bit. So far, I will say these palettes have really, really great pigment to them. Look at that. And it's blending very, very well over top of that eyeshadow. So I'm really really into it so far by the way you guys i just want to thank you for all the love you guys showed my last makeup declutter video i know it was really different than the typical videos i film on this channel i incorporated some vlog style footage some handheld footage some 
um, overhead shots and it was just a lot of fun to film and not only edit and I feel like watching it back it just felt a lot more real raw and interactive I have been filming makeup videos on YouTube for like 10 years now so as you can imagine me sitting in the same setup in every single video it can be a little repetitive so I am looking for new fresh ways to film my beauty content and I will be experimenting from here on out so if you guys ever like a certain style format make sure to comment it down below and the comments so that way I know it really really does help me out but you can see that's blending beautifully I keep wanting to go like this because I want it to have a mirror it doesn't have a mirror though so that's a little little sucky but nonetheless formula is so bomb I'm now gonna switch into this palette here also by Revolution and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here which looks like it is a lot lighter than the other one in the medium palette and I'm just gonna take this and really go in big circular motions to buff and blend out my transitional shade because it's looking a little harsh and you guys know I'm not about the harsh edges over here. I definitely feel like I'm kind of itching to wanna do like a rose gold lid. I think that's what we're gonna do. But before I do that, I definitely have to go in with more of like a cranberry shade. This is a step I always do. I feel like it really helps out with my overall blending is I will take a shade very similar to my outer V color. In this case, it is going to be this cranberry shade from the dark ultimate nudes palette. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just going to tap it right in the middle of where the two shades are gonna meet. And this is just gonna help out with blending overall. Again, it is a step that I just never really skip and it just works beautifully for me personally. I also love that these shimmers aren't chunky or anything like that. They're very, very smooth on the eyelid. So just wanted to put that out there. I am applying them with my finger, so they're not going to be like as foiled or anything like that. I have been really into applying shadows with my fingers. I just feel like it gives me such a beautiful blend, but just a really nice shimmer that I'm also gonna do on the other side as well. You can wet these eyeshadows to get them to be a little bit more foiled, but for me, I really want my lid color to be like the center of the show. So that's why I'm not really too concerned about this being like extra extra foiled wow i haven't done like a fiery eye like this in a minute but it's really really pretty so i'm going to switch gears a little bit and i'm going to jump into a completely different palette which i know is hella excessive but what did you guys really expect from me i have had this palette in my collection for a minute it's by makeup by mario this is called the master metals eyeshadow palette and what i find to be very very interesting is that it also comes with this little spatula so apparently you're supposed to scrape off some of the shadow and then mix in a little bit of the mixing medium to get a really pretty kind of liquidy consistency like a foiled eyeshadow on the eyes the shade i'm going to dip into is this one right here as you can see it's such a beautiful rose gold shade so i'm gonna put this all over the lid but i definitely want to do like the little mixing medium thing so let's scrape off a little bit of this then i'm gonna add in a little bit of that mixing medium i don't want to add too much with a cream brush by sigma i'm just going to mix it together to see what happens oh my god this is so pretty <gasps> okay time to put it on my eyelids i have it on this cream color brush by sigma this is an e58 in case you guys were curious but let's see let's see what happens. <gasps> oh my gosh that is so stunning <gasps> Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm just gonna take my finger and then just lightly start tapping it just to give it a better blend. But so far, this is stunning. Definitely gonna go back into the shade right here from the Ultimate Nudes Dark Palette. And I'm gonna use this to just blend it into that rose gold. Like I said, this is like my favorite method to get a really, really beautiful blend going. And then just like tapping it directly over top. Look at that. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of this shade right here. It definitely is more of a purple. Or actually, I'm gonna go in with this brown here from the medium palette. And I'm just going to add a sprinkle of it. Just like a little bit. Just like sprinkling it on top of the outer V. That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna dip into that brown. And I'm just going to lightly tap it out here. Like so. Ooh. 
Watch out, girl. Watch out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what we need. So this definitely toned down, like, the red in the look. And it just added a little bit more smoke and neutralization to the outer V. Is that even a word? I don't know. But we're going to roll with it. I am gonna move on to primer. Now, I do have this primer here by Milani. This is called the Avocado Redness Correcting Primer. You guys know I do struggle with redness. And since I already went in with a little bit of the glow screen, which is supposed to be a makeup gripping primer, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this color correcting primer to neutralize the redness I have going on in my skin. So let's see what happens with this. I'm just going to take a little, ooh. Okay, so this is a lot different than what I was expecting. I was really expecting um, something a little bit more opaque. This definitely looks more like a transparent green primer. Very different, Milani, very different. Just gonna take a little bit more onto these areas here where obviously I'm red. I kinda wanna work it in with my hands. Oh wow, this is smoothing as well. She feels smooth though, like silky, silky smooth. Okay, all right. Oh, we see you. No, we don't. We don't see anything happening, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's go ahead and move on to Color Crafter. I will be using another Color Crafter by Milani. This is the peach one. This is the tinted under eye brightener, and I am going to use this solely underneath my eyes to really just combat any darkness. I really like this one. This one's really pretty. I know they have another one as well, but the peach one is my favorite. Whatever's left, I'm just going to take it right here around my nose. Because as you can see, it's kind of like a purpley color. And I always feel like this color corrector just helps out with that. Like, do you see that blemish there? Once I put a little bit of this on top, it just kind of lightens it a little bit. And I'm really into that. I also love how lightweight this consistency is. Like, it's not full on coverage, but I feel like because I'm going in with more of a skin tint, it works. Let's go ahead and go in with foundation or our blurring skin tint by Fenty. I'm going to give it a good old shake. By the way, the shade I did pick out is shade eight and I did pick this up myself just because I didn't get any PR from this product launch, which is strange because I usually get a lot of the launches from Fenty and I'm just going to go like this. To blend it out, I'm just going to use a damp beauty sponge. Okay. I'm getting coverage. I'm getting decent coverage. And it literally is the perfect match for me personally. This is a gorgeous formula. I feel like it's so skin-like and it's really pretty, but it's not too sheer. It still gives me a little bit of coverage. I feel like whenever I'm going in with something like this, I don't want something that's so sheer that it looks like I have nothing on my face. Like clearly, if I'm taking the time to put something on, I want it to have coverage and this has just that. I'm gonna give it another shake here and I'm gonna put some on my forehead, but just a little bit. I really don't need all that much at all. Did I just find my new go-to product? Let me not get ahead of myself. This is my first time trying this out, so I'll definitely have to update you guys in a future speed review, which will be at the end of the month. Any product I feature in a new testing out makeup video will be featured at the end of that month. So stay tuned for my final thoughts on this product, but so far it's looking pretty fire. That's enough of that. Let's go ahead and move on to concealer. I will be throwing it back to this concealer here by Jouer. This is the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade Custard. Not a new product, just a product that I really love and just wanna revisit again because I love the formula. Look at that, honey. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I'm getting crazy in this video but gotta show my personality some way, somehow. By the way, follow my vlog channel if you guys haven't already. I will definitely be uploading kind of like a week in my life type of video in the weeks to come. I am currently working on it. I think you guys will really enjoy it. If you did love the vlog style makeup declutter, of course, but I'm gonna let this sit for about 45 seconds and then I'm gonna blend it out. So for my under eyes today, I'm gonna to be using this shade and this shade here, both from the Medium Ultimate Nudes palette. And I'm really just smoking this here, like on my lower lash line, just so that way everything blends very nicely. You guys know, I really love a good smoke. 
But so far, I will say the shadow palette is blending out beautifully. So if you're really into mauve tones or like pink tones whenever it comes to eyeshadow, I think you will really enjoy this palette. I guess the only downside is that the shadows do pull pretty, pretty mauve and there's not much variation within the palette. So that's my only con with it. But you guys know, Revolution, Makeup Revolution, I Heart Revolution, Pro Revolution, or is it Revolution Pro? Revolution Pro, they carry incredible products within their line. So if this palette doesn't work for you, I'm pretty sure another palette will because they're just beautiful. So now I'm gonna go into the Retouch Soft Focus Powder by Haley's Beauty. Let me tell you, I don't know what's taking me so long to actually try this out. I've been using it nonstop since I got it because it really is that good. And it really creates like soft blurring effect underneath the eyes, it's unreal. I'm just gonna take this again to set underneath my eyes and you're gonna be able to see like instantly how smooth my under eye area looks. It almost looks as if I just put an Instagram filter on it. Like, look at that. That is just gorgeous. And it doesn't get weird or anything like that. It doesn't get cakey. It's just the prettiest under eye powder. I do like for my sponge to be evenly saturated with the loose powder though, because otherwise, I don't know, it gets a little funky, but I'm just gonna do the same thing and set under there. It is so pretty. I have to go and pick up more. I really do. By the way, you guys, I'm not sure if you know this, but Haley's Beauty can be found on Amazon. I do stream on Amazon every single weekend, but more recently, I've really been wanting to change that to some time during the week, just so that way I have more time for myself on the weekend. I feel like work-related stuff should be during the week. So let me know what day of the week you guys would watch Amazon live streams down below in the comments. I'm thinking like a Friday night, but do I wanna give up my Friday nights? Not like I do anything, literally stay in the house. So what am I talking about? I'm using the Kosas powder. This is the Clout Set Powder in the shade Comfy. Let me tell you, this is the best powder to hit the market right now. Do not walk, run, and you will thank me later. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay, What's the procedure? stay calm! What? It's kind of like a no powder powder in a sense that it really sets down the makeup, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing much powder at all. And that's why I love it so, so much. Very, very lightweight and it's perfect for the summer and spring. So let's move on to a little contouring moment. I am going to be using this palette here by Dior. This is the Backstage Contour Palette and I've really been loving this shade right down here to really add natural looking shadows. So I'm just going to go ever so lightly closest to my hairline. And I'm also gonna go in with an affordable bronzing palette, so don't feel any pressure to pick this up. But just know, it is one of my favorite products right now since picking it up from the Spring Savings event. So for actual bronzer, I will be using something more affordable. This is by Essence. This is the Sun Club Matte Bronzing, what? the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. Now, I do really love these two shades right here at the top. These two at the bottom, they would work good as eyeshadows, but not for bronzing powders for me personally. If you have more of a deeper skin tone, I could definitely see these working out, but I just like these two. So I'll just take a big brush and dip it in both shades, tap off. And I do like to use a bigger brush whenever I'm bronzing. I don't know why, it's just been my vibe. And I like to hold it at the very end of the barrel so that way I don't get too much color payoff. And I'm just gonna go like this in big circular motions just to bronze up the cheeks. And I like to use a bigger brush because I feel like the product is just well blended and very well dispersed that way. And then holding it at the end of the brush is just going to allow you to apply as little pressure as possible, which is nice because you really don't want this to be too harsh. I'm telling you guys, you guys can get a bomb ass makeup look using affordable makeup products. Don't ever feel like you guys really need to go out and buy some of the high-end stuff I feature in my videos because I know I can get a little carried away sometime when it comes to high-end makeup, but I can't help what I like and I am a really big makeup lover. So more times than not, I just wanna try any and everything no matter the price point. So excuse me. Ooh, I will say some of my foundation is kind of coming off my nose. You guys see that? Mmm, interesting. We're just gonna ignore my nose, okay? And we're gonna move on to blush. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Turks and Caicos. I'm just going to take a brush and really dab it in here. As you can see, it is pretty pigmented. I like to apply it to the back of my hand just so that way it doesn't get too crazy on my face. And then I will just apply it to the cheeks. 
And I find that since this dries down to more of like a soft matte finish, I can apply it over top of powder without it getting weird. So that's really, really nice. So for highlighter, I'm gonna dip into this Dior palette here and I'm going to use these two top shades just to add a little bit of glow to the cheeks. Something I've been into, no judgment. I'm gonna take whatever's left on my brush and then just put it on my forehead and a little bit here. So let's go ahead and finish off the eyes. I do wanna go in with these Double Wispies by Ardell. These are the double ups. I haven't worn false lashes in a little minute, so I just wanna switch things up in today's video. So I'm going to pop these on very, very quickly. No liner, just lashes. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Essence Lash Princess Waterproof Mascara, and I'm just going to coat my lashes with the falsies to give it more of a natural effect. And I did trim these a little bit just so that way they were more of an accent lash. So I'm really gonna put an emphasis on putting mascara like right here in the very inner corner because it's just going to make it look as though the lash starts from the very inner corner as opposed to like not really. I hope that makes sense. Sometimes it's a little hard to really explain what I'm doing. I'm also going to take some of the waterproof mascara onto my lower lashes. Now this is such a great waterproof mascara. It definitely is one of my personal favorites. I live in Florida, so it's a little hot and humid and it doesn't smudge or budge or anything like that throughout the day. Like look how pretty, oh my God. The last and final thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in with a little bit of lip liner and gloss. I feel like this look definitely calls for more of a glossy gloss. So I'm going to be using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF2. This is probably one of my favorite lippy pencils by ColourPop. I'm just gonna line my lips with this. So for lip gloss, I'm pretty torn between this one or this one. What would you guys pick? Let me know. I feel like this one's a little too warm, so I'm just gonna go in with this one. This is called Mercury, and this was the Madison Beer and Morphe collab. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, I love a good lip liner and lip gloss combo. Like, who doesn't love it? It's so cute. And to really finish off the look, I will be going in with one of my favorite setting sprays right now by Rare Beauty. I did a full video um, highlighting some of my favorite products from the brand, so I will have that listed in the cards. This here is the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. I love it. So you guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts. I honestly always have a blast filming with hot new makeup products and just giving you guys my first initial thoughts. I do want to start doing speed reviews where I update you guys at the end of the month with all the products I've been trying out. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I can't say for sure whether or not I like the Ease Drop as of yet. I do want to continue using it both on and off camera. So again, stay tuned for an update on this product here. I will say though, my skin looks very fresh, hydrated, and dewy, which is so strange because as you guys saw, I did go in with two different powders to set my makeup down and in place. I do live in Florida, so I cannot get away with not setting my makeup at all. I have to do it no matter what. And this retouch powder by Haley's is becoming a staple for me. And this one by Kosas as well. If you guys have not tried these two powders, I definitely feel like they're worth checking out. They definitely have my stamp of approval. In addition to the Always an Optimist setting spray by Rare Beauty, I feel like I've talked about this a ton. When I first tried it, I wasn't too keen on it, but now I'm so obsessed that I even have a backup that I picked up during the Sephora Spring Savings event. So I'm just saying, I'm putting it out there in the universe. Definitely check out the description box if you guys want any links to any of the products I use within today's video. And again, make sure you guys are subscribed for the updated speed review at the end of the month. I love you guys. I'm going to go. I have to make myself some lunch. So I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.